today we're looking at using LMMS and linking MIDI inputs and outputs to other LMMS instruments and tracks. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. I have done, it's been a while since I've done any type of music tutorial and I want to apologize uh, first off it's, since it's been so long, I don't have my system set up to record the output of the instrument. So when you hear music coming out of LMMS, it's going to be recorded through my microphone. It's just how I have it set up at this time. And I just wanted to get this video recorded. So I apologize for that. Uh, and in the past, I have done tutorials on linking inputs and outputs of MIDI devices in LMMS. And it's really simple. But I recently had a viewer ask me a question. And uh, the answer is very simple, but I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. First off, let's say I want to link, well, let's do this. Uh, we have a default instrument here. I'm actually going to drag a ZYN, add some effect to it. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, let turn the, let's change the instrument because the default instrument in LMMS is rather low. I'll just make it a home piano. Okay, now I have a physical keyboard here next to me, a MIDI keyboard, so I can click here if I'm doing an instrument or, you know, here if I'm doing a, a track, and I'm going to go to MIDI input, and I'm going to choose my USB MIDI keyboard device that should show up there under the device name. Now, if I press the keys on my physical keyboard, great, we have instrument being played. Of course, I can always right click and go to the piano roll, record stuff. I'm going to lie down, I'm going to lay down some music here. Just making up stuff. Okay, great. Now, let's say, you know, you have all these instrument plugins, these different synthesizers, uh, and other instruments that you can bring over into LMMS uh, and use that MIDI track for. But let's say you like a synthesizer that isn't built in, such as AM Synth, which is a synthesizer I like. Um, how do you link, whoops, how do you link LMMS to AM Synth to get this instrument to play? Well, uh, the simplest way is just to click on this track here, go MIDI, output, and uh, AM synth should show up as an input. Now, if I was to press play now, it's going to play both the ZYN add sub effect that's built into LMMS here and the external uh, AM synth. Okay, so let's say we don't want to have the um, internal anymore. Uh, my simplest solution would be to come over here to the SF2, which is a sound font player, drag that to replace this instrument, and don't load any sound font file. There we go. So we have that playing out to the AM synth, and LMMS itself is not playing any type of audio. So that's simple enough. But the next question I had from a viewer was, how do I, how do you link multiple instruments within LMMS to, um, to one MIDI track? So I have this MIDI track here, and I want to have, you know, four different instruments playing that track. So let me come back here. I'll pull over a ZYN add sub effect, and I'll pull in a uh, Bit Invader, and maybe a Free Boy instrument. Now, <clears throat> when they ask this question, it's something I'd never thought about before, because what I would normally do is right-click, copy, and then paste in the instrument on each one of these. Problem with that is, well, now if I want to make a change to this MIDI track, so I come in here and I want to put this up here, it's only changing on the one track, not the others. So how do I do it so where I can modify one MIDI track, whether it's inside the loop editor or the track editor here, the song editor, so that when I make the change, it affects all those tracks? Well, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear all notes on those two instruments. So I have here my MIDI out, which I'm going to turn off AM synth, although I could leave it on if I wanted it to. And so I have an output here, and I can go through these, and I don't have too many options here, but you notice we do have one called 
LMS default preset. Now you may not see that by default at first. Um, what we would want to do first would be come to the instruments we want as an input and I would go to MIDI and I would say it's input to be the MIDI through, MIDI through port zero. And I would do the same for this one, the input MIDI through port zero. Now, when we go here and I go to output, you notice we have three presets. The first one showed up because I had already linked to my MIDI keyboard. If I didn't set that up, you wouldn't have seen any of them at the, by default. You have to, once an input is set to an LM, LMS instrument, it will show up in the outputs. Let me, let me clear out the project and show you that because I don't think I explained it very well. Right now, we have one instrument, two instruments, three instruments. I go here, MIDI, inputs, and outputs. So I go to outputs, I don't see any LMMS instruments because I haven't linked any LMMS inputs to anything. Before the one showed up because I had already linked it to my keyboard. But I want to show you by default you're not going to see any because that can be confusing coming here and like, oh, I want to link this track to the this track, but I'm not seeing that track. What you need to do first is come to the tracks down here and say, um, create an input and link it to something. And in this case, I'm going to use the MIDI through port, which I believe is just part of the uh, ALSA, which is the Advanced Linux Sound System. I don't know what the last A stands for. Anyway, um, the um, but all it does is pass MIDI input through it to other programs. So it allows you to link stuff up through it. It itself doesn't play anything or record anything. So I'm going to choose that. And now when I go back here and I go to output, you can see that it showed up as preset zero. And I can do the same for this instrument. I can say I want its input to be the through port. And now when I come up here to this instrument and I go output, there's two of them. So I can link this here. And so I can check multiple and I can go to the piano roll and when as I'm writing down the notes you can see on the indicator here for all three instruments are being activated. Now, one instrument is louder than the other just because the, the bit uh, invader is a louder instrument, so I can lower it down if I wanted to. But all three instruments are playing off this MIDI track, and so if I make a change to the one track, it's affecting all three tracks. So that is how you link instruments within LMS to other tracks and instruments on LMS. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. It was very simple, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I apologize that I don't have the output of the software going right into my recorder. I just don't do very many audio uh, tutorials anymore, mainly because it's a pain in the butt to link and get the uh, audio all right. So I just did this to help that one viewer out. I explained it to him, but I thought a video might help. So as always, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please think about contributing to my uh, Patreon site at patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Uh, help support the videos continually being made. Um, and I want to thank you for watching and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. What? Which is all based on Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great! 
If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.